Hi, welcome back to Woodshop. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and leave a comment. Today I'm going to be making another version of the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Morpher with an added feature and some additional details. I made one in an older video, you should check that out. Uh, it was pretty basic, just two pieces of wood put together in the shape, a hole in the middle, some Velcro, an interchangeable coin that you could pull in and out, and then I hand painted uh, the lettering on there. So today we're going to be adding another feature to it, which is going to be a handle, so that way you could hold on to the morpher, which gives it some more playability. As far as details go, instead of hand painting the letters on there, I have some letter punches, so I'm going to indent the letters in the words Power Rangers. So I think it's going to come out looking pretty cool. Stick around to the end to see what it looks like, and let's get started. <laughs> So I'm going to be putting the handle together using inch, uh, hinges that are one inch by one inch. So I am tracing out a line and spaces for the hinges on here to make that handle and then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Now we need to fasten the handle down with the one inch by one inch hinges. I drilled some pilot holes, put a little glue, and I am screwing down the hinges. We now have a working handle. The next step is to glue this layer down to the middle section. Next thing to work on is the top layer. Piece that says power, piece that says rangers. I have a template that I'm tracing out here. And now that I have this traced out, I'm gonna put um, the words on there. So I have these letter punches, and I'm going to use these letter punches to make the letters and rangers and the letter and power. And this way the letters will be indented into the wood instead of just free painted on. I have the piece that says Rangers cut out now, and what I'm doing here is trying to sand around the design so that way the part that has the like black lightning bolts and the red part where it's going to say Rangers, so that part can be raised up a little bit. So I'm trying to sand uh, down around here, and I'm going to do it for both this piece that says Rangers and the piece that says Power. <laughs> There's one more thing I have to do before I start painting. I'm going to put in a little strip of Velcro where the power coin will go in. That way I can use this with the power coins that I made for the other morpher. Now it's time to paint. I'm gonna spray paint as much as possible. The colors I'm using here are the same as the last time. It's red and then a metallic silver. And then as far as the finer details on the parts that say Power Rangers, I am going to hand paint those. I'm now free painting the top layer. The part that has the words on it is going to be red, then black for those kind of lightning bolt designs, and then I'm going to use white for the indentations of the letters. All right, I have finished painting the top and bottom piece, Power Rangers. I think that looks pretty cool with the punched out letters, or punched in letters, and uh, I think that looks pretty cool. I like when you put your finger over the letters, you can actually you feel them, because I punched them in. So those two pieces look pretty cool. Now our other thing has dried, and that is basically the back of our morpher, the middle part of our morpher with the Velcro, where our coin goes on. So this is now dried, All right? Handle comes out, handle goes in, Handles out, handles in. So what's left to do now is to take these pieces and glue them on and then our morpher will be complete. All right, so we're all done with making this morpher. 
It came out looking really cool if we compare it to the one that I did last time. It definitely looks a lot better. I think those letters with the letter punch came out a lot better. Um, and definitely the added features of the handle makes it just a better toy, a more fun uh, thing to play with, and a, and a cooler thing to display because it has that handle on that. You could actually prop it up with that. Um, so looks really cool. You put, rub your hand over this, you feel those letters indented. I sand it down a little bit to the side so that way this center piece here is raised up just slightly. And we have that handle layer. The handle is on there really sturdy. It's not flopping around. My hand can fit in there, so my kids' hands will definitely fit in there if they want to play with this. Came out looking really nice. So we take our interchangeable power coins because we got the Velcro on there. Pop it in. Hold it by the handle. And then you can do your morphin thing. I like this one a lot. I hope you guys liked it too and enjoyed uh, seeing this in the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And let me know if there's something else you'd like to uh, see me try and build. All right. Thanks again. See you next time. Lewis, what do you think about the new morpher? It's very cool. I like the handle and I like that this part is very up and these are dented in. Long time, Dragonzord!